All right, so if any of you have been here on this channel for a while, you all know last year I skipped out on the Ducky SF hype. I just didn't cover the board, and the reason being is just it didn't excite me, right? You all know I've covered the Ducky one too many quite a bit on this channel, so that board I always state I love to hate it and I hate to love it, you know what I mean? Like, the Ducky one too many is a great board, it really is, but I always state, man, there's so much better out there for the price, and the only thing driving that board is hype. Well, and Tifu, whenever he used to use it, you know what I mean? That's the whole thing that made that board explode. And still, it's a fun board. I'm not saying that. But again, I still do believe that there's many other boards out there for the same price or, heck, maybe even cheaper. But anyways, that's why I didn't cover the SF last year. Because again, it had that same frame, that same flexi, just build. It's just, again, just kind of chintzy for the money. But I think they really kind of implemented it and made something really worth the showcase here today. And that is the Ducky Mecha SF. Now with the Ducky Mecha SF right here, it is using the new cherry switches, the ones with 100 million actuations. You can get it with tons of different cherry switches from your reds to your blues, your browns, and so on and so forth right there. We have reds on this guy. Whenever you pop this guy open, it's pretty much the same as every other Ducky board, right? You're gonna get your dust cover. You get presented with your board, which just looks, wow, it looks amazing. You're, as far as your accessories, you're gonna to get your keycaps, your replacement keycaps there, different color, your keycap puller, and your detachable USB-C cable. But when you take this board out the box and just give it a look over, wow, I mean, this thing is stinking gorge right here. You definitely get like a custom vibe from it, you know what I mean? Number one, talking about the keycaps, I'm not a big, you know, orange and aqua fan, but it just looks so cool with the different colored print on top of them as well. That little greenish case right there, which is all metal and it is stinking heavy duty. Little ducky emblem on the side, which is also metal over there. Just so awesome. Flipping it over, you do have your pop out feet, which also are metal. You have your dip switch on the side, like you see on all duckies. And I didn't know this when I purchased it, but these boards are actually numbered. I don't know if you can tell, but I got number 59 out of 2021. Really cool, I didn't know these were limited like that. On the back side, you do got some Brandon, Ducky, Ducky, and then Mecha SF. And then on the side, it's gonna let you know which one you have. Emerald, and then your USB-C port. But again, other than aesthetics and looks, this thing is stinking solid. Talk about heavy duty, like it's all metal, so you're not gonna get any flex on this guy. And again, you really feel that weight. Again, it's nice, lofty, you feel like you have a really quality product in your hand. And that goes right in line with the keycaps. Very thick, solid PBT keycaps. And no, these keycaps are not shine through. Again, as I mentioned earlier, they are printed on the top right there, which is honestly what I prefer. I'm not a big RGB fan. If so, maybe just a nice underglow right there. You do have RGB on this board, just like all the others. And you can adjust, maybe you put it as like a nice orange underneath or a little bluish green, that will be cool. But again, I kind of like it just solid right there with no RGB. So when we take all that with this board, it's just incredibly solid. I feel like you're getting your money's worth right there. You know, from again, the heavy duty frame, just the great build, the awesome keycaps, the just the personal vibe you get with it. I love the cherry. Wow, that was crazy. Everything just flickered. I don't even know if I'm still recording. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Wicked storm going on outside, power's flickering. Hold on a second, I got my dog whining here. He's a big, come here. There he is, he's, I don't know if you guys gotta, come here Leonardo, come over here, come here, come here. Can you guys see him? He's he, a big, big bad Doberman and he's a big sissy. All he does, he gets so scared of rain and everything, don't you? Yeah, look, you're on camera. No, anyways, let's get back to this video, right? He's gonna go hide under my desk probably. But what you guys are gonna be asking is, hey Techni, what do you think, or would you recommend this over my ever so favorite Maya Pro? And that's where I wanna get into the sound test right here. And I wanna let you guys listen to again. We got cherry reds on both of these. So you're gonna to listen to this board and then that board. And then I'm gonna come back to you and we're gonna kinda of chime in on that topic.
All right, so why I wanted to start off before we wrap this up with that sound test and answering your question, would I recommend the Maya Pro or would I recommend the Ducky SF over the Maya Pro right there? As far as that sound test, one of the things I love about the Maya Pro is the sound. I really do. And again, talking about the Maya Pro having a solid plastic body, this is what I used to always tell people, like why buy the Ducky one too many when you can buy the Maya Pro for the exact same price? And I still stick by that, you know what I mean? But the frame on the Maya Pro, I'm not gonna make this Maya Pro video, you can go watch it, I've done multiple of them. But again, this board is just solid and you get that solid feel and that solid sound with this board. Over here on the SF, it still sounds amazing. It sounds fantastic, it really does. But you get a little bit more of a higher pitch sound since again, you do have that floating keycap design when on the Maya Pro, it kind of sinks down in. So that plays a lot into it. Again, you got full metal over here, metal plate, and then again with the metal body, so you can get a little bit higher pitch sound. Again, on the Maya Pro, it's just very, very thick. I just, I just love it, it's perfect. And that brings me right into my conclusion of these boards right here. Talking to Ducky Mecha SF, costing 150, not about 160, right? I'm gonna believe it's pre-order right now. And it comes in a blue version as well, the ocean one. It looks awesome, I'm not a blue fan, but it looks really cool. So 160 for this guy. Um, for a Maya Pro, I believe this one here is maybe around 115, but I believe you can get the rainbow for like 109. So right around 100 bucks, you know? So you're talking a $60 difference, is it worth it? This thing's solid. I'm not saying anything bad about the, the uh, Ducky SF at all. It's an amazing board. But yeah, I would still recommend the Maya Pro. Save the money, get a fantastic board, get a custom design one if you want, you know what I mean? But I do, I get real, my nose gets running with, I, with the dogs that are real close to me, right? So it sounds like I'm crying here. But the SF, what I hope they do with it, I hope they build on this. I hope they make a solid black one, a solid white one, and just make some awesome other designs and colors with it, which I'm sure they will. Cause again, these two that they have right now are pretty bold and out there. So I hope to make a solid white and black one. Maybe drop the price down to like 139 or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, still right now, I would still recommend the Maya Pro over this. But if you go with this, I mean, it's, it's not bad. This is a fantastic board. It's an awesome board. And yeah, I think you're getting your money's worth. But again, I'm that type of person like, hey, if I can save 50 bucks, 40 bucks, why not? So all in all, the Ducky Mecha SF right here, complete win. Absolutely love this board. I'm excited to see what they build on this, different designs coming down the future. And I'm definitely gonna scoop some other ones up down the road. It's an awesome board right here. And I hope I helped you out if you were looking into this keyboard or heck a new keyboard out there. Again, this is a great option, it really is. So I hope I helped you out with this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to some future tech videos. And I hope we we'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.